Hi, I'm Leonardo DiCaprio, and welcome to New Jersey News. Tonight we have some very special stories. First up, we have some two pretty stupid guys talking about some music and stuff. I don't know. That's what I said on the script. I don't really care about that because it doesn't seem too classy. So, uh, yeah, CD and vinyl. It's been a long, controversial issue that's been going on for, like, 20 years since the 90s. Since, since CDs have been popular, it's been a controversial issue since, like, you know, yeah, since the CDs, CDs and the vinyl. So today we're going to be discussing what's the difference, which one's better, and how you can make your audio sound really good. Okay, wait, what? Take okay. What, what do I say? Do I'm... Say anything about audio? CD. I mean, there's always they always talk about these odd frequency made like something about audio techno blah, blah, blah. sample rates and bit rates and all that. I don't. How does that even matter? Like, isn't the what is sample? Well, I don't want to see. Here's the bright side to things. For example, we have a vinyl and a CD. The vinyl has really good sound quality, but it will eventually wear out. Unlike a CD, it will last forever, but it has a wave file. It's uploaded wave, so it might not sound as good as, uh, let's say, LP would. Um, also, when it comes to uh, what people like in terms of um, music stuff, vinyl seems to be the better choice because, you know, it's more than, like, the CD just comes with a sleeve, like a mini sleeve, and like, you know, the CD is stuff in the jewel yeah, case. Like, As when you get vinyl, it comes with a whole sleeve that's like large, and it comes with like, like the cool artwork. Yeah, you get like, and, like the, the artwork is much bigger than just like a little like thumbnail in your computer. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you know, so you get that kind of stuff, it makes it cool and that. So let's talk about uh, audio stuff that'll make your stuff sound good. So here, I'm holding what we're using for our microphone. It's an Audio Technica, if you zoom in on that. It's an Audio Technica microphone. Audio Technica seems uh, to be really good when it comes to audio. Um, this is going to say it right off the bat for the record. Do not trust Beats. They are horrible, horrible they sound suck. products. They are like $20 they're earphones. Just, they're they just $20 them. headphones, like, endorsed by Dr. Dre. And who cares about Dr. Dre? Well, I mean, he's, I like his music. Oh, wait, but I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like his, I I don't like his audio friend. products. His audio products. Anyway. <laughs> no. But, um... I wouldn't trust those. This twenty dollar uh, earphones that cost like thousands of dollars. It's stupid. It's just there's some overpriced twenty dollar. When it comes to buying good uh, stuff, Audio Technica, Sony, Sony stuff is really good as well. If you're looking for inexpensive and good, Sony's actually a really good way to go. I do have a lot of Sony audio stuff. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more pricey, when it comes to record tables, um, sound systems, or earphones or whatnot, go Audio Technica. They're really, really, really good products. Um, for example, can you talk about elaborate on the uh, the record player? Well, in CDs, I mean, like in digital, like in digital media, like the, it's really easy to get good sound quality out of it. But talk about that, yeah, I'll yeah, and then the final thing, yeah, and cool. you gotta get a really good turntable usually. This is so true. Because I just have I, right now, for me, I I listen to vinyl and I only have like a sixty dollar turntable. It's really, it's really sucks. And, and elaborating on that as well, it's not only like what. Like, like, it's not only CD versus, like, vinyl. Like, the thing about vinyl is that it takes more to make it sound better. Like, for example, when it comes to CDs, you can get an average CD player and get the same sound that you would get out of, like, any other thing, you know, debating if you have, like, you know... It's, it's a laser disc. It reads... Not, like, like laser disc, but it reads it with a laser, so you kind of see or hear what it is, like, over the audio. But when it comes to, like, vinyl, you can have, like, a really good record player and have really good sound audio and whatnot, but you can have a really, really crappy... You know, record player. Yeah, you know, it's horrible, like bad record player. Like, yeah, and just get used to using like those in like the in the in the turntable speakers. Those, those are horrible. Those yeah, those are suck. Don't use those. Never, ever. Well, yeah, use those things. So, when it comes to sound system and you get your own um, uh, speakers and whatnot, here's a little tip to go along with. When you set up your speakers, have them facing inwards, not out, not, not in the middle or not outwards. Inwards makes it so the sound amplifies toward, towards you better, like towards your ears better, so it, you get more of a kind of um, better sound if you do that, per se. Like, you know, you can get, I mean, you still get good sound depending on what speakers you have, but if you want better sound for any speakers, you get some inward source, so like it kind of goes to like the listener on the, on the TV. And actually, you can even go into depth with this by even measuring how far like your couch is, or, like where you're sitting, or like the radius of where the sounds are going to be hitting you. And you can even go into depth of doing this and like, you know, research and go online and check it out and see like how to get like the best sound for yourself with that. So. Yeah. Well, 
Well, I have of mine is uh, sometimes some some turntables don't. Come, I think these days most turntables come with an amplifier inside the uh, the turntable, but sometimes there's I think I think mostly Audio Technica. Audio Technica usually don't come with the, the amplifier inside the. So usually you gotta buy like a the stereo system with like the inputs and. In so that's what I have actually, but I mean, it, my, I don't need it, but it's just to connect to the speakers. It doesn't have like, cause, wait, am I, should I be talking about this? Yeah, you said it. Like, you're talking okay, about it. Okay, yes. sorry. I just feel like it was kind of. I'm talking more about. No, 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 yeah. Let's talk okay. about your experience. Okay, so and so I, cause I don't have. There's like you know, you know what speaker wire is? Yeah, of course. Like, it's yeah, like, it's like speaker yeah. wire. It's like it's like stuff you like. They have like sometimes like, those clips or sometimes of course, like, yeah. you screw in. But then it had the speakers had that. And I couldn't plug it into the turntable because the turntable only had like, like a, it was like a headphone input, and then there's like a RCA input. And RCA, if you know, if you ever back in the day had like a VHS player or like a really old CD player, they always had those like those red, yellow, and white. Those are those are RCA plugs, and they're just the audio ones without the yellow video one. So, and. Uh, it only had those two um, uh, inputs, so I couldn't like connect the speakers directly to the vinyl player. So I used the amplifier, so I could connect, take, so I could plug it in through there, through using the RCA and then out through the speakers. And actually, it sounds much better now. There's actually some weird like noise, like this weird. Sound. Oh, there's, there's things you can do to kind of make it sound better too, like you know, using your smarts and whatnot, researching it online or. Asking people, you can kind of like, you know, yeah, like my research and finding good stuff to make your audio, your standard audio stuff, even better than it is before. So, yeah, like my dad is like, because he said the, the, the reason why that noise was behind because I think I needed ground something because it, it's only like, do you know those two? There's always those two prong plug, yeah, 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 plugs yeah, in, so yeah. maybe they need ground because, yeah, exactly. I, I don't know, I'm not very, I'm not, and I'm, I don't really know much about electrical stuff, so. It's audio and electrical stuff. Because sometimes yeah. there's always static with exactly yeah. in your vinyl sometimes because you need sleeves and like yeah, the dry area. Yeah. It's yeah. like static on Humid, that. dry, yeah, and it wiping clean it properly and whatnot. So, yeah, well, I don't have anything else to say. How about you? Yeah, anything else you want to input? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So that about sums it up. This yeah. is Audio Talk. With Next up, we have Sports News, which honestly is too classy of a uh, segment, but you know what? <laughs> I'm adopted. Hey, Wolverines, Spartans, and Eagles alike. Come at you live from Newstone. We're in the middle of a heated game of foosball, and it's Miles versus Austin. Oh, and it goes for the goal shot. Oh, blocked. Gotta get it out of the... Goal! Okay, in other news, uh, in the Big Ten Championship game on Saturday was the Iowa Hawkeyes versus Michigan State Spartans. And after a close battle, the Spartans take their fourth close call win. That's all that matters in sports right now. Well, uh, thanks for that sports segment. That was uh, quite interesting. So uh, thank you for tuning in tonight to NutriZone News. I am your host, Leonardo DiCaprio, and I have childhood trauma. Can't keep up this character, guys. Can't do it. <laughs>